السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته على كل الوطن العربي والناس الطيبين اللي هيتفرجوا علينا النهاردة معايا من مستر أوليمبيا 2022 الأسطورة اللي حقق القطعة اللي كانت ناقصة رامي على مدار سنتين معانا النهاردة تشاد نيكلز هيقول لنا السلام عليكم How are you doing? I'm fine. Ah, you you respond rightly. We're we're back at this again, right? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So it's going to be a good year. I mean, this is the third year. This is an important year because yeah. this um, this is a year that kind of establishes everything. Yes. And so this this had to be a year um, that he really kind of, I guess, establishes dominance. Yes. And so first year was good. Last year, you know, we had some ups and downs last year. This is the best he's ever looked right now. This year? This is a completely different year. Yeah. This mind, like, with Rami, you know, it's a certain mindset, how he goes in and attacks everything. Um, he, he's always very passionate about the sport, right? Um, but just like any athlete, you have to be very, uh, like, in, a, in just like a tunnel vision yes. mode. And, like, all year he knew he had something to prove. Yes. He had something that he needed to accomplish this year. He needed to show something very, very different than last year. And um, it, it, it was noticeable right from the get-go. Like when we got back and started training, you know, normally we take a little bit of a break and, and just kind of relax. I want to know, I want to know, what did you told him after he win 2021? What, what was the kind of the conversation that you have with? You know, I told him, I said, listen, you know, it was a tough year. And at the end of the day, we won. And that's all that matters. You know, we knew we had some hurdles that we, you know, had to overcome. Uh, we were chasing a look that, you know, you, it, it's tough to create when you aren't able to train intensely all year. But at the end of the day, that year's that year and we got it done. Mm -hmm. But I told him, I said, we can't let that happen ever again. We have to go in with the mindset that we are going to battle and dominate everybody. And I said, that doesn't happen a month out from the Olympia. Yes. That happens right now. And so when he went back to the gym, he was hungry from day one. He told me, let's get started right now. And I mean, and at that point, we had over a year to, to, uh, to start working. And it was repetitive. Just What was one, the switch? Like, you, you know, know uh, uh, 2021? Rami wasn't like all the people were expecting some package they and it didn't this, come. Yeah, they, okay, you know, so uh, this year he already I I, I saw some stuff, sure, so sure. it's like crazy, it's scary. But what was the switch from in in like that mood that I am not training, I am like having some issues to that switch? What Listen, did you do? To at that? the end of the day, Rami loves bodybuilding yes. and he loves a certain look. He yes. knows what he needs to. I think when Rami saw himself, he was disappointed. He realized that he didn't do everything that he possibly could and that he knew he had to do better. Yeah. And he knew that, and from, from day one, that's, that's what happened. Yeah. He went into the gym with a vengeance of knowing that he had to be better. Yes. Every single day, better. When he got to a, a certain point, excuse me, I got the hiccups. Yeah, okay. um, he got to a certain point, He wanted to be better. And then we got to that point, and he wanted to be better. Yes. And it was driving like, like that every single day in the gym. And, you know, we constant, we stayed in a, like a lot of contact. There was a lot. I changed his diet. There's no kidding. I was looking at the uh, stuff. I changed his diet 50 times wow. from last year to this year. 50, 51, actually. Wow. I'm talking about the last, wow. the last week. 51 times. So, I mean, that's a lot of changes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we, but again, we took it, you know, week by week, day by day. When the body leveled off, we stepped up. When the body leveled off, we stepped up. So we never allowed to get into a comfort zone yes. where the body was just kind of cruising. We just kept pushing. More density, more density, more density. We wanted size. We wanted to be bigger this year. Because in all honesty, look, everything has always been about conditioning, and it still is. Like, yes. we're going to bring some crazy conditioning. Yes. But in my opinion, this is the best he's ever looked, and it will be the biggest he's ever been. That's a guarantee, mainly because when in the past you looked at him, the first thing you were drawn to was his legs, okay? Um, his freaky legs. Yes. But this year, you, you're not drawn to anything. When you look at him by himself, you can't actually get how big he is. Yeah. Because everything is in balance. Yes. It's not that his legs are smaller. Yes. It's that his upper body is bigger. But his waist, and I told him this from the get-go, I said, listen, we're going to get your weight up big. But what we're going to do is 
we're not going to try to make your waist smaller because that would be stupid. Okay, he's got a small waist, but what we're going to do is we're going to keep your waist exactly the same, yes. and we're going to make everything else bigger. Yes. So, so that the illusion will be that the waist is smaller, the shoulder to waist ratio is over exaggerated, the quad sweep over exaggerated, and the silhouette this year is crazy. Can, it's I, crazy. can, I, can I tell you about the rumors? Actually, it's not yeah, the rumors. Yeah. They have been talking over the internet about the situations. Rami's back. Rami's back is like not getting any details anymore. Rami cannot be Mr. Olympia. He doesn't have any back anymore. And 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 there is some issues with his back. What you would like to say to those people? Well, so here's the thing. Okay, everybody is built different. Did you see, by the way, these interviews? Yeah, I've seen all okay. the nonsense. <laughs> okay. I literally don't pay attention to okay. any of it. Um, I think it's all funny because everybody's an expert. Yeah. Everybody, you know, listen, at the end of the day, everybody has their favorites. Yes. And, and when you've won and dominated like Rami has, you know, people kind of want to see somebody challenge him, right? Yeah. So they start picking apart. It happened to Ronnie. I'm very used to it. My wife was very dominant. It happened to her. Like, they start rooting against you a little bit. Yeah. But at the same day, they want to see something extraordinary, yeah. right? Yeah. And so Rami had some, you know, like, things that they were kind of nitpicking apart. But here's the thing. The way the muscle inserts and everything is, is always just a little bit different. But I can tell you this. Like, his rear lat spread, I've seen some of the best rear lat spreads yes. in the world. Yes. Ronnie had one of the best lat spreads in the world. And I can tell you right now. There was, there was a point la like about a week and a half ago that I upped his carbs for one day yeah. and we took a picture of his lat spread and his lat spread was so crazy looking. I stuck it side by side with Ronnie. Now, granted, they're both different, but I'm telling you, they were both very, very comparable. Yeah. And I mean, it, it's, it's, his lat spread is that crazy. The difference with the rear double is his rear double has a lat that kind of sucks up a little bit, so it doesn't hang way into, into the lower back. Yeah. So under the lat, it kind of sucks up. Jay Cutler's did the exact same thing. It would kind of, but again, it gives an illusion of a very like crazy thickness to the, yes, to the back sure, now. Sure. And his lower back is now improved. Yeah. So the lower back is thicker. You have a lot of cross duration and detail in the lower back and the lower lat into the rear double ties in very very nicely. Thickness is crazy this year, but a lot of the detail through the traps and erectors down the middle firing like crazy right now. Detail cross striated. Um, his side his side shots are better right now yeah. than they were in uh, 2020. Yeah. And 2020 his side shots were lights out, and this year they will be even better than that. Okay, that's yeah. great. That's great. So last thing, Rami will bring. The crispy look this year and the separation between the muscles? Absolutely. Right now, his, qu his quads are, the, the, I think, the deepest they've been, you know, since, especially since I've been training. Yes. Um, they're all the way up into the hip flexors. Um, separation is beautiful on them right now. Again, like I said, there's no imbalance. So the legs look like, you know, balanced with the upper body. Um, everything flows really, really well. Abs are super, super deep. Uh, how, nice how, how we change how we change from 2020 you know 2020 Rami come with a package it was like oh right. my god Here, here's the difference yeah. and, and, I, and me and Rami were talking about this earlier yeah. I think that he actually has a little bit of the fullness from the 2020 Arnold yes and 10% be better conditioning than the 2020 Olympia so we have the fullness from the Arnold yeah. and the conditioning but a little better than the Olympia wow that's, that, will be the, that will be the combination. Okay, so we have three interviews we're going to be with you. For sure, like every year we do the same. Do you think in the breed judging, we will going to congratulate ourselves? I believe that he is in, in the, like right now, where he sits right now, the minute he walks out on stage, he could realistically slam the door. Okay. But now here's the thing. There are some battling guys in this that we yes. haven't that I haven't yeah. seen, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I've seen we William are, Bonac. We are respecting I, I, yeah. everyone. I've seen William Bonac. He looks phenomenal. Yeah. Again, we have to see him next to Rami, yes. um, and and he could be very, very, very dangerous. He is very complete. He is going to be nuts looking. That's yeah. for sure. We know Nick Walker is going to be freaky. Um, you know, Derek Lungsford. We don't. Yeah. We, he's a he's a guy that we have no idea what he's going to look like next to these guys. Um, so, you know, there's always the possibilities, but right now. Where, where Rami's at, yeah. I love it. 
Like, lit- like I don't get too excited at this point, yeah, yeah. but I'm pretty excited right now. Chad, I will gonna stop talking about Rami, and I will ask a question for Chad Nichols himself as a coach. How you make the balance between two competitors they are training with you and competing in the same, same class. division? Yeah, same division. I've done it so many times. So, I, I mean, back in the day, there was times when I had, you know, 10 guys, you know. Um, you know, I've, there's been points where I've had like four of the top, you know, five or something like that. Um, I look at everybody, you know, individually. My goal is to make sure that Rami is lights out. But at the same time, my goal is to make sure that William Bonac is lights out. You know, uh, if, I do, if I do that, then I've accomplished my goal. And then it's up to the judges to decide yeah, what they're going to yeah, do. You know, yeah. I have no but, control over that. But if if Bonac say for you or ask you, hey, can I win Rami? What would you say to him? I would say, look, I, I would say, could you beat him? Sure, you could beat him because you have beat him before. Yeah. Now, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, today, I you know, I would say that this is a completely different version of Rami, but this is also a completely different version of William. Yeah. And again, we've got two or three other other guys that's going to be right in there too. Yeah. But with where I'm at right now. I'm 100% confident that if everything goes as planned, yeah. my, my two guys are going to be the last two standing. Really? Yes. Wow. I believe that they're that good right now. One and two. One and two. Wow. Okay. He said to us that he's talking about Rami, the first one, and Bonac can be the second one. Do you think that Rami can be second and Bonac can be first? It's going to, you know, I mean, Rami is the, is the reigning champ. Yes. And so, you know, William would have to knock him out, yes. you know. But again, William is good, you know. And if he brings something different, could he do it? Maybe. I mean, it's, it's possible. But I will say Rami is very, very Rami, dangerous. Rami. Rami is all the time. Rami, yeah. Rami, Rami, Rami. He Folks. is very dangerous. Thank you so much for right. doing that. And we will going to have another interviews. 100%. And we congratulate our, ourselves. After, when after we, pre-judging. Yes, we'll, pre-judging. We will going to be congratulating. <laughs> Egyptians, Masriyin, kullukum gahzin, Ram insha'Allah, alfein. Ashreen, itnin wa ashreen, bi'iznillah, huwa raqam wahid. Thank you. Hey, I promise you this much, this will be the Rami that everybody's been looking for. Yes, thank you for saying that. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> you always good, you always good, you always good.